On this episode, I'm taking Sunny and I'm going to be cleaning up the lithium ion setup that I installed months back. I'm gonna walk you through on how you can install this yourself. We ended up installing two 30 amp lithium ion batteries, as well as a RedArc BC-DC charger. This is also incorporated with the solar panel that we installed on the roof nest. We ended up going with sun power. What we're gonna do, we're gonna pull everything out. We already have the goose gear set up. We already have the ice co. We already have a slide installed. Everything is already done. We gotta pull everything out, access this little storage tub underneath. Right now it's just a big mess of wires inside there. Um, gonna put a fuse block in there. Also gonna use this little cubby to access the fuse block. Let's get this thing pulled out. Later on in the video, I'm gonna show diagrams as to how I set up my electrical wiring. For now, let's just focus on getting everything out. There we go. Now we're gonna use an Allen bit. I'm putting it on my impact. It just makes it so much quicker and easier. Let's go through all of the accessories and what we have here. This is the standard storage tub on a Jeep JL Wrangler. There's enough storage in here for this entire setup. Right here, we have the Red Arc BCDC. We have the Eco Worthy 30 amp lithium iron batteries. We have the Victron Battery Protect, as well as the Victron Smart Shunt. Finally, fitting in the ARB Twin Air Compressor that happens to fit perfectly. You're going to also notice that there's washers all throughout the bed. This helps to lift up the goose gear platform, allowing all sorts of cables to fit over the tub. With the standard trim, it doesn't matter, but with the goose gear, it does. One of the common problems with the goose gear platform is that if it's elevated too much and you have a tailgate table, it runs right into the table and you can't close your tailgate. Just separating it this way, butting the two pieces together, it fixes the problem. Do you see how strong that is? Noticing how difficult that is to get out, it's pretty funny to think that I just used standard Velcro on the batteries. I used 3M dual lock tape on the ARB compressor, allowing me to be able to remove it if I would like in the future. Again, probably not that easy to remove. Now let's get into the setup and how all of this works together. These here are the Victron accessories that I use. I use the uh, battery disconnect as well as the smart shunt. I modified this diagram directly from RedArc's installation manual. As it shows and as is highlighted, I took a six gauge wire all the way from the starter battery. There is an inline 40 amp fuse within a few inches of this starter battery. The wire is then run along the firewall to an access hole in front of the driver. The wire then runs through the driver's side of the car through ABS paneling. Check the description, I'm going to include a few videos for accessory wiring that will give explanations. The charging line of the Red Arc connects directly to the positive terminals of the batteries. There should be a 40 amp fuse in between the two just to keep it safe. This is also directly connected to the input of the Victron Battery Protect Disconnect. Take my warning well, never use crimps, only solder your connections. It's the most sure way that your connections will stay solid. Okay. So three inches by like seven and an eighth by six and three quarters. And two of them fit in perfectly. Originally I used standard double-sided tape. 
This time, I went with 3M double-sided tape attached to some Velcro. They are not coming out. Let me walk you through the setup that we have. This is a DC USB, the lines running up the side of the uh, hard top. You can see that it splits off. This line here goes up to a hole. There's a grommet filled full of RTV. We've never had it leak yet. That second line comes up. You can see that it routes through, uh, zip tied to the existing rear window defrost. Attached to it is a uh, mercury switch. Uh, the line then goes into the ABS tubing and out comes an LED light. Here's the roof where the grommet goes. Uh, this is actually three 12 gauge wires. Uh, they're sharing a ground. So they split off here. Uh, one power goes into the roof nest where we have an inverter as well as DC and USB charging ports. The other side of this line goes directly up to the sun power solar panel. It's 120 watts, attached with uh, 3M double-sided tape, never coming off. It's pretty solid. An item which is very important for house batteries on any vehicle is to have a smart shunt. This is a Victron 500 amp smart shunt. It costs about 130 bucks, not necessary. Realistically, neither of these are actually necessary. It's just for few extra bucks you get some added security. Let's see how these are installed. Notice here that there's the battery disconnect. This is such a great little system. What it really does is it detects if the voltage drops too low for the lithium batteries that causes them to self-destruct. It also has a relay that I use to shut off the battery system. Next is a smart shunt. Quite an amazing little widget. Basically what it does is it allows your smartphone or any other device to see the status of your battery. Charging, pulling, loads, whatever. One thing that I can make note on is most people have an error on installing. Just connect one side directly to the battery, the other side directly to the ground as well as your loads. The ARB system requires only one wire to turn on and off. All the other connections are done within that storage tub. You have to run one wire to one of the auxiliary switches. I use number three, three and four, it just makes it easy. All of the auxiliary wiring runs along the passenger side of the car. Same as it was before, it's a pain to pull it all out, but anybody can do it. And finally, instead of connecting to the battery directly, I connected it to the disconnect and then connected the ground directly to the smart shunt. And this concludes the house battery setup on a Jeep JL Unlimited. The storage tub makes an excellent location for a battery setup as well as battery chargers and a twin ARB air compressor, utilizing a wealth of unused storage for most of these cars. If you have any questions, feel free to email us directly or simply comment. I'm definitely here to help and give any ideas. I am not a professional, just a hobbyist. Thank you for watching and by all means, ask any questions, like, comment, and subscribe.